Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified U. This means, quite simply, universal. In other words, it can be seen by people of all ages. There'll be nothing unsuitable for children, and the whole family might well enjoy it. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film. to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Mustn't forget my life jacket. That's it. Well, today, I'm going along the River Avon, right along here to a place called Ashorn Hall. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. They have a lot of pianos at Ashorn Hall, and they're very strange pianos because they play all by themselves. We've got drums that do that as well, and all kinds of other musical instruments. Jim, he said we were going to go all the way down here to see things that work by themselves. And, Rosie, 
he said we're going to go all down there to see um, drums that work by themselves, <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> drums. Drum, 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 <laughs> drum. Ooh. There's a strange noise somewhere. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's my radio. I wonder what that noise can be. It's very strange. I wonder if it's my radio. No, it's not on the radio, it's off. No, it's impossible. It's just a wooden duck. Couldn't make a noise like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's very strange. <laughs> he likes this. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing? Flowers? Oh. Yeah. Morning. Flowers, Rosie. Hey, flowers. Try our music to dance to. Yes, it's much better. Yeah. Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim. <laughs> Come on. They're a noisy lot with their dancing flowers. Oh. There's something else that works by itself. That girl's playing more music. Rosie, huh? she's playing on a on a key key on a keyboard, silly. <laughs> and now it's playing by itself. Yeah. Do you think you'd like to listen to our music? Yes. Let's play it louder for her. Yeah. Da da da. Rosie, Rosie and Jim. Rosie Sorry and about Jim. the noise. <laughs> For goodness sake, what is all this noise? I don't know. Oh, poor Fizzgog. He's not happy. No. Rosie? Yeah? Our, our music will make him happy. Yeah. Let's make some more music for him. Yeah. Come on, quickly. Well, at least it's nice and quiet here. Come on, Rosie. Come on! <laughs> well, that's amazing, a piano that plays by itself and with violins. Well, come with me and I'll show you some more. Oh, thank you very much. Ooh! Jim, this plays music by itself. Rosie? Yeah? This must be a magic piano. Oh, yeah, I know. Let's make some more music for Fizzgog. Yeah. yeah now, um, it's that... Oh, no, oh, no, it isn't that <laughs> button. <laughs> oh, dear. It's this one. There. <gasps> Rosie, yeah. more music. More music. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. I'm really sorry about this. I can't understand what's going on. It's very strange, isn't it? It is. And if you'd like to come this way, I'll show you something else. Oh, thank else. you. Oh, poor fish dog. He needs lots more music. <laughs>
Oh, do you think I could go somewhere quiet now, please? Turning it round, turning it round, turning it round till it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, yeah? that's nice quiet music for fish dog. Yes, <laughs> lovely. I was turning it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm, this is a lovely one, isn't it? Nice and quiet, too. Yes, but come and have a listen to this one over here. Oh, thank you. I hope it's not noisy. I've got one just like that on my boat. Oh, there's another one like the ones I have on my boat. Well, thank you very much for a fascinating visit. It's been a pleasure having you. I think I'll go and rest my ears on the boat now. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Quiet place. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, with all that music buzzing in my ears, I think I'll go on the boat and have a nice quiet rest. Ooh, that's nice. Somebody's left a chair and a cushion for me. I think I'll sit down and have a nice quiet sleep. Dog's resting his ears. Shh. Rosie, let's only play with the quiet things. Here. Yes. Yeah. What? What's the first quiet thing? Rosie, yeah? shall I see? Yes. <laughs> turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel till it stops. Ooh. Rosie, yeah? where's that thing? Uh, um, what is... Rosie? Yeah? Here it is. Yes, see whether it's quiet. Right. Ooh. Yeah, that's quiet. Yeah, that's a very quiet thing. What's next? I'll see. <laughs> turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel till it stops. Oh, Ooh. now that must be um, um oh, this one. Oh yeah, Rosie. Yeah. See how quiet that thing is. Okay. Oh, that wasn't a quiet thing. No, I don't. <laughs> Not <again. laughs> What's next? I'll see. Turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel till it stops. <gasps> oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no. Rosie? Yes? I don't think that is a quiet thing. Rosie, don't. I do. Rosie, don't. I do. No. Oh. Jim? Rosie? Jim? Rosie? It wasn't quiet. No! And these dogs come in oh, quick! Come oh, it's no good trying to sleep here. I think I'll just go and do some work. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim came to a big house in the countryside. They went in to have a look. It was full of pianos. Ooh, noggin, said Rosie. I wish I could play the piano. Jim had a try. It didn't sound very nice. Then, click, whiz, the piano began to play by itself. 
What a jolly tune. Would you like the first dance, said Rosie. My pleasure, said Jim. They danced all round the room. Look, said Jim. He has an accordion like ours, said Rosie. Hello, said Jim. I like your music. It's fizzy, said Rosie. The accordion player said nothing. He didn't even smile. He's not friendly, said Jim. Look, said Rosie. He's full of wheels. No wheels in there, said Rosie. More cuddly, said Jim. That's right, said Rosie. Time to go home, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> We go to play and have a look With Rosie's bag Jim flooring book The world drifts by The window frame And Rosie and Jim we play our games <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. I'm going down the River Avon today. I'm going all the way down here to a butterfly farm. But before I do, I want to finish baking my boat. Mmm, nice green paint. There, that's about finished. I must be careful not to get this paint on my clothes. It won't come off. Well, I'll be on my way now. all over my jumper. What a mess. Just look. I don't know. Thanks, Duck. We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. 
I'm hoping to see the butterfly farm at Stratford. Perhaps he'll think I'm a butterfly with all these colours on me. But I'll get changed into something else before I get there. Jim, he said that he was going to go all the way down there to change a butterfly. No, Rosie. Yeah? He said he's going to go all the way down there to change into a butterfly. When I was a boy, there used to be lots of butterflies in the fields and gardens. Oh, here it is, just past those trees. Lovely trees at Stratford. Gonna change into... Oh, a tree! <laughs> Gonna... Jim, I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree... I... Rosie? Yeah? You're not a tree, you're Rosie. Yeah, but I was just playing for... I'm a tree, I'm a tree! <laughs> Rosie, no, you're not, you're just Rosie. <laughs> I was a tree for a bit, and now I'm a rosy. But in a minute, I'm going to be a tree. <laughs> I was a tree again. <laughs> what a doggy. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's where the butterfly farm is. Ah, oh, this must be the place. Rosie? Yeah? He said this is the place. Yeah, a big glass house. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, it's very hot in here. Still, I suppose that's how the butterflies like it. I'm a bit scared. Rosie, what's this girl going to change into? Rosie? Rosie? Where are you? Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> you nugget! <laughs> Jim, this girl is going to change into a tiger. No, don't say that. You're <laughs> scaring me, Rosie. <laughs> Anyway, yeah? we've got to follow Fish Dog, because we don't know what he's going to change into. Oh, OK. Come on. Oh, that looks like a small dragon to me. It certainly isn't a butterfly. I think it's an iguana. And I don't think an iguana can change into a butterfly. Rosie? Yeah? Has Fish Dog changed into that green, green monster? <laughs> no, Noggin, it can't be Fish Dog, cos he hasn't got his hat on! <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> he hasn't got his hat on, so he can't be Fish Dog! Can't be him! <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. This is a fascinating place, isn't it? Yes, thank you. What have you got there? That looks interesting. This is a caterpillar. My goodness me, it's a lovely green one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice big one. Nice big fat one as well. And what's he busy doing on that leaf, then? He's eating these leaves. Ah, I see. Rosie, look! A creepy, crawly caterpillar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and it's all big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Big fat green caterpillar. Yeah, do you know what, Jim? He's been eating too much. Yeah, he's eaten all those leaves, he yeah. said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else is it? Does it do anything else? Yes, yes. very soon it's going to turn into a chrysalis, I hear. Really? That's right. Uh huh. Are they, oh, are these the chrysalis? These are the chrysalis. Yeah. So it's a different shape altogether, That's right. isn't it? The caterpillar goes to sleep inside one of these. And very soon, a butterfly will come out of one of these crystals. Really? It changes again. That's right. Shh, Rosie. Yeah. The caterpillars are still asleep. Yeah. <gasps> Rosie, look. Oh, yeah. What's coming out of there? Well, Jim, yeah. it doesn't look like a caterpillar's coming out of there. No, Rosie. Yeah? That caterpillar must have changed into a butterfly. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> changed into a butterfly. Right. So with great big coloured wings. Just great like, big coloured wings, uh, just like the ones you see flying around. My goodness me. That really is amazing. Oh, and like the big ones in there, too. Oh, I don't know what sort they are. Oh, 
Well, I'll have a look and see what else okay. I can find. Thank right. you. Bye bye. Flattery, flattery, flattery. Flattery, 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 flattery. Lovely duck. Oh, yeah. He's got fish dogs. Yeah. Plenty paper. Yeah. Rosie. Uh huh. Let's change it into something. Yeah. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well, thank you very much for a very interesting visit. It's been great. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Good. Thank you. And here's a little memento of your visit. Oh, lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Creepy crawly caterpillar creep, crawl, creep. Creepy crawly caterpillar goes to sleep. Caterpillar by and by changes into a butterfly. Rosie? Yeah? I thought you were going to make him change into a butterfly. Oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right, please, this time. OK. Right. <clears throat> I'll do it again, Rosie. A uh, creepy crawly caterpillar creep, crawl, creep. Creepy crawly caterpillar goes to sleep. Caterpillar by and by changes, changes into a banana. <laughs> banana. Rosie. A caterpillar doesn't change into a banana. It changes into into a butterfly. Oh. Um. Sorry. We'll get it right this time, please. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, creepy crawly caterpillar creep crawl creep. Creepy crawly caterpillar goes to sleep. Caterpillar by and by changes into a, a smelly. Rosie, <laughs> please yes. do it right this time. Yeah, but I just thought... Please. That... It's only... A... Uh, thank you. Right. Ah, uh, creepy crawly caterpillar, creep, crawl, creep. Creepy crawly caterpillar goes to sleep. Caterpillar by and by changes, changes into a butterfly. Rosie, <laughs> you've changed Fizzagong's painty old paper into a beautiful painty paper butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You're clever, Rosie. <laughs> oh, Rosie, yeah? I think Ducky wants to be a butterfly. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, quick, free dog. Hmm, that was nice. I'll put my butterfly sticker on the window now. There we go. That's pretty. Hello, Doug. What have you been doing? I think he's trying to change into a butterfly. It's very pretty. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were jogging along on the good boat rag doll. When Rosie said, Ooh, Jim, I feel fed up. I think I'll change. What will you change into, said Jim. Well, said Rosie, I think I'll change into 
A butterfly, said Jim. Change into a butterfly like me, and we'll have beautiful wings. Hmm, said Rosie. It sounds nice, but... Or, said Jim, we could change into... into... Iguanas. Iguanas, said Rosie. Oh, Jim, I don't want to be an iguana. We could lie and sunbathe all day, said Jim, and have flies for our dinner. Yuck, said Rosie. I don't want to be an iguana. I truly don't. I think I'll change into a... A budgie, said Jim. Let's change into budgies. We'd be such lovely colours. And we could fly and play all day long. No, said Rosie. I think I'll just change into uh, a new dress. Lovely, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tucking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Oh, that's dangerous. I must clear these boxes away. Oh, out! Oh, dear. Do you know, I'm almost bumping my head on this boat. I don't know. I'm not sure it's really quite big enough for me. I wonder if there's anywhere I could find a really big house, one that's big enough for me. I'll have a look in my book and see. Let's have a look there. Stage. Hmm. Oh, yes. My book says, if I go up there, I will find a big house called Sharkut. I'll go and have a look. Get my life jacket on. Fastened up, and I'm ready to go. Well, I 
I'll see if I can find that big house now. Thanks, Duck. We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. It might be nice to live in a big house instead of a small boat. Jim, he said that he's going to go all the way down here to go and live in a big house. Rosie? Yeah? He said our boat is too small for him. Yeah, but Ragdoll isn't too small. It's just right, aren't you? Yeah, Rosie? Yeah? Maybe Fizzdog doesn't want to live here anymore. Maybe, maybe he's going to go and live in a big, big house. Ooh, that tree house looks fun. I'll bet they don't bump their heads in there. Rosie! Rosie! Yeah? Do you think Fizzgog will go and live in that house up in the trees? Oh, Noggin, that's a house for children to play in. It's far too small for Fizzgog. Oh. <coughs> He's stumping, Rosie. <gasps> My book says that the water isn't deep enough for the rag doll to go up here. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's the way to travel to the place where the big house is. In a little boat, it can go where the water isn't so deep. <gasps> Where's he going to, Jim? <gasps> Rosie! He's going, he's going in a little boat. I thought he said he wanted to go and live in a bigger boat. No, Rosie. Yeah? Fizzgog said he wants to go and live in a bigger house. Oh, no. Jim, we better follow him and see. Come on. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> yeah? Fizzgog, Fizzgog. He's only looking where he's just come from in that little boat. I oh, know, Noggin. <laughs> How can he see where he's going? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where this big house is. It must be near here somewhere. Please go careful. There's a great big house behind you. Yeah, Fisco. There's a big house. Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, dear. My goodness, what a big house. You know, I wouldn't bang my head if I lived in a house like that. I wonder what it would be like to live there. Rosie? Yeah? His dog said he's going to go and live in that big house. But he can't. No, that house is too big for his dog. Yet. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. Hello. This is a wonderful house, isn't it? It's a very fine house indeed. Can it's you tell me anything about it, please? Well, yes, it's a big house. It was built a long, long time ago. Rosie. Huh? It's very, very, very... Very, very big house. Yeah, Jim, I think that maybe some giants might live in there. Oh, no. So how many people lived here, then? Well, there were two families, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fathers and sons. And they had a lot of children. Yeah, yeah. So perhaps even 20 children. 20 children? Time. Oh, yes. My yes, goodness yes. me. And where did the children play? Well, they played out here very often. But on the other hand, in recent times, they had their own little house to play in. Really? Yes. They had their own house? Absolutely. Child-sized? Yes. Would you like to see it? I'd love to. Well, come this way. Thank we'll have a look. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm, I think it'd be too big for me. Pity. This big house is too big for Fizzgog. Yeah, Fizzgog said it's too big for him. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Oh, 
So this is the summer house, yes, is it? Yes, this is the children's summer house. Mm -hmm. My goodness me. Nice and small. Ooh. Everything the right size for children to play in. Yes. Yeah. All the little things. Wonderful. It looks a really cosy place to live. Could we have a look around the outside? Oh, of course you may, yes. Thank you. Come around. Yes. Mm, lovely and cosy in here, Rosie. Rosie? Rosie! 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 Oh, Rosie. Yeah? Fizz Gook's just said that this house is all cosy and he's going to come and live here. Oh, oh no! But it's too small, too small, Fizz Gook! Too small, too small! Oh! Oh! oh. Mm, I think this house is too small for me. And the other one was too big. Yeah. And the big one is too big. Yeah, and yeah. Rosie, I know the place that we like to live the best. Yeah, where someone loves us most of all. Yeah. Hooray! Come on! Come on! <laughs> what's the matter, Duck? I think I know what's wrong with him, because he said to me that if he would have a house... Well, that was a nice visit. But I'm looking forward to getting back to the good old rag doll. Ducky wants a house. Fish. Too small! <sighs> Ducky wants a house. Fish. No, that's still too small. <clears throat> e -o -ma -do -me -o. Ducky wants. Fish. That's good! Yeah, I'll put that on duck the oh, right over the oh there. There. there you go, Duck, a nice now, house. Duck has got a nice new house. Yeah. But, Jim, um, Ducky needs a window. You better go and find him one. Come on. Hey. Ducky needs a window. There. Too small, Jim. Ducky needs a window. <laughs> Ducky, that's too big. Wow. Hey, oh, my do oh. Ducky needs a window. Yeah, that's perfect. Now put that um, sort of um, there. Jim, Jim, he needs a door now. Oh. You better go and find him one. All right. Ducky needs a door. There. Too small. No. Ducky needs a door. There. Too big. No. E oh, my door, me oh. Ducky needs a door. That's a good door, that's it. Now, Brett, let's get that there. And where can I put the door? Stick it there. I uh, need to put it sort of about there. Yeah, Rosie? Yeah? Now, Ducky's got a nice house with a window and a nice new door. Yeah, but where's the roof? Jim, we've got to give Ducky's house a roof. You better go and find one. Oh, Come on. no. Ducky needs a room. Hurry up! Ducky needs a room. I'm hurrying. Hey, oh, my oh, Ducky needs a room. Uh, how's that? Oh. oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, now, just oh, lift it up from there. Now, so, Duck has really got a nice new house. Yeah. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. <gasps> Fizzcock's coming! Come on! Hello, Duck. Let's have a look. Oh, that's just the right size for you to go to sleep in. There we are. Good night, Duck. Sweet dreams. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were jugging along on the good boat rag doll. Quack, said Duck. What does Duck want, said Rosie. He wants a house, said Jim, his very own house. We'll make him one, said Rosie. Let's make him a big house, said Jim. Duck slept in his new big house that night. 
The wind blew and Duck shivered. Quack, quack. He doesn't like his house, said Jim. It's too big, said Rosie. Let's make him a little house, said Jim. Duck went into his little house. There was no room to ruffle his feathers. His tail stuck out of one end. His beak stuck out of the other. Quack, quack. He doesn't like this house, said Rosie. It's too little, said Jim. Let's make him a duck-sized house, said Rosie. They put an old blanket in to keep Duck warm. Quack, said Duck. He likes that house, said Jim. It's just the right size, said Rosie. And Duck snuggled down and went to sleep. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Quack. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Brrr, it's a chilly day, so I'll start with that. One. Chilly. Okay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Oh, my hair's getting in my eyes. I must get my hair cut. Just put these things down, anyway. I'll get my life jacket on now. Let's have a look. Oh, now this canal leads to Birmingham. If I go there, I should think I'll find a good place to get a haircut. So I'll go and have a look. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. 
Oh, dear me. Today, I'm definitely going to the hairdressers to get my hair cut. It really needs tidying up. Uh, Jim, he said that we were going to go all down here so that he could have his hair cut. Cat, is he going to have all his hair cut off, Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> no, noggin, just tidied up. Oh, so we're going to go all down there to, um, a hairy place, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, a hairy place. Hairy, hairy, hairy place. Hairy? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. It looks as though that dog needs to come to the hairdressers with me. Is your hair a nuisance like mine? Rosie? What? <laughs> that fluffy old thing's got fluffy old hair like yours. Where? <laughs> Over there, look. <laughs> you got fluffy old hair. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. A floppy dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> it's floppy hair. Oh, floppy old dog. <laughs> Look over there. Where? Over there. Where? Over there, over there. Oh, my floppy old hair won't let me. <laughs> floppy, floppy, <laughs> floppy hair. <laughs> oh, over there. Yeah. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I can't tell which is her front and which is her back. <gasps> Rosie, she's got even more floppy moppy hair than you have. <laughs> it's all floppy moppy. <laughs> Ro Rosie, Rosie. <laughs> There now! <laughs> Duck's got moppy floppy hair as well! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Jim, you haven't got moppy floppy hair. Rosie, I don't want moppy floppy hair. Oh, <laughs> spoiled sport! Poor old duck. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'll see if I can get a haircut now. OK, Ben, your hair looks lovely. I'll make your appointment you. for next week. OK, okay. see you then, Sue. So. Bye. Oh, sorry. Oh, Bumped dear. Into... It's my hair. I can't see where I'm going. I'm, you know, it's such a mess. Perhaps you better follow me oh, in. Oh, thank you. Get it done. <laughs> thank you. OK, I'll just take your hat for you. Oh, thank you. Right, if you just take a seat over there, right please. Yeah. Jim, come on! I hope this is the place, Jim, where they can sort out my floppy hair. Yeah, floppy, floppy hair. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Are they going to chop off? Oh, he's got No, silly. Crazy! Crazy engine! Come on! Do, 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 do. Would you like to come this way, sir? <laughs> right, John. What are we going to do to you here today? Well, the problem is, if my hair's too long, it falls in my eyes and I can't see. And if it's too short, it um, stands on end and looks funny. <laughs> Would you like to take a seat here, please, John? Oh, thank you. Right, I'm just going to put a towel around. Mm -hmm. OK, slide right back for me. Thank you. Can I have your glasses, please? Yeah, thank you. Right, I'm just going to check the temperature. Right, I'm just going to put the shampoo on now and make lots of bubbles. Mm -hmm. Bubble, 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 bubble
Right, John, I'm just going to make sure all the balls are out. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, there you are. It's all done. Nice, clean hair. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Yeah? Are they going to chop off all of these dogs' hair? <laughs> I don't know! You're not going to cut it all off, are you? No, we're just going to give you the little trim. Oh, good. You probably won't even notice I've cut it, actually. I think you're very clever to be able to cut hair so beautifully. It would take a long time to learn. I've been doing it for about eight years, actually. Ah, uh, yes, I thought there's a lot of skill there. <laughs> I'm just going to twist you a fraction yeah. just so mm -hmm. I can tidy up the neck here. <laughs> Rosie! Oh. Oh, sorry, John. If you could hold your head so oh, mm. Do you get many children coming? Oh, yes, they all love it. They didn't cut off his dog's hair off. <laughs> oh! His dog's hair isn't fluffy anymore. I know, but my hair is. My hair's very silly. <laughs> Well, I think it's really nice having your hair done, you know. I, I must come more often. Definitely. It's yes. the most comfortable, relaxing experience. Yes. really nice, yeah. Have you nearly finished, Carla? Or is there more things to put in my hair? Yes. Lots more? Oh, goody, goody. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Thank you very okay. much, Paul. That's really that's good. And, you know, it looks so nice that when I get back to the boat, Rosie and Jim won't know me. There's your change, John. Thank you very much. Your hat. And thank you for making my hair so nice. And thank you for coming. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> I've got a banana, it's got no hair. Got no hair? Got no hair. I've got a banana, it's got no hair. Oh dear. Now it's got some hair. Yeah. <laughs> Now, we've got um, a hairy book and a <laughs> hairy banana. Hairy banana. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some crayons. They've got no hair. Got no hair? <laughs> got no hair. I've got some crayons. They've got no hair. <laughs> I'm going to sort that one out. <laughs> Now they've got some hair. So we've got um, a hairy book, a hairy banana, and some hairy crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of hair. Yeah. Lots hairy, 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 Got some hair. I got a duck. It's got some hair. La 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 la. la. Ba -ba -ba -la. Rose, what? Poor old duck. <laughs> <laughs> Hairy duck. <laughs> Rose, what? quick, please go. Oh. Well, I feel much better now. I've had my hair done. I'll get on and write my story now. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One chilly day... Rosie and Jim were going for a walk when they met a dog. Poor dog, said Rosie. He has a sore nose. 
I'm a she, said the dog. Sorry, said Rosie. How did you get a sore nose, said Jim. Bump, went the dog as she walked into a tree. That's how, said Rosie. Ouch, said the dog. Try walking backwards, said Jim. The dog walked backwards. She bumped into Rosie. Ouch, said Rosie. She's not as hard as a tree, said Jim. I know, said Rosie. You need a new hairstyle. You can't see where you're going. We'll give you one, said Jim. Who are you, said the dog. Hairdressers, said Rosie. All right, said the dog. That's better, said the dog. I can see now, but... What, said Rosie. You are not hairdressers, said the dog. You are Rosie and Jim. I know, said Rosie, but... We made you look very nice, said Jim. Thanks, said the dog. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Three videos. One. Quack. Two. Quack. Three. Quack. They're all about us. And you can buy them from the shops, Rosie. Yes, I like tunnel. Yeah, I like that one about us. Rosie and Jim Rag Dolls are available exclusively from Rosie and Jim Department, Oxfam Trading, Murdoch Road, Bista, Oxen, OX6 7RF. Price £19.95 each, plus postage and packing.
Your favourite characters come to life on video. Rosie and Jim's favourite adventures aboard the Ragdoll Canal Boat are to be found on our large range of videos. And have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Wah! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> And don't forget Thomas the Tank Engine. The adventures of him and all his friends can be watched again and again on video. At a station, Thomas noticed a man looking cold and worried. He had missed his train home. Sooty's never one to be left out, and apart from his adventures, there's also a large range of special Learn With Sooty videos. They're perfect for helping with the basics of reading, numbers, safety, and many other important subjects. Two jars of sandwich spread. Sandwich spread. One, two. Hello there. My name's Matthew Corbett, and this is a video all about counting and numbers. Just to make sure that learning is always fun, the Sesame Street cast, including Big Bird and all his friends, appear in their very own video series. I'm glad you're here. Oh, and I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm here, because today we're going to get to go through the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P And this time it's a triple bonus! Q-S-N-W! Hey, can I do that again? Ah! Marshmallows, meatballs, mm, ready to munch. Mm. Oh, wait, uh, I want to do the milk. Mm -hmm. Zebra! Yeah, we got it. Yay! Yay! These and many more of your favourites are available from all leading video stockists. Chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, 
Rosie and Jim and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim flooring book, the world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Brrr, it's a chilly day, so I'll start with that. One. Chilly. Okay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Oh, it is chilly. <laughs> Get my life jacket on. That's better. Well, today, I'm travelling along into the centre of Birmingham. That should be a good place for a story. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. Today I'm going to visit a nursery school. I might write a story about Rosie and Jim going to school. Jim? Jim! Yeah? He said we're going all the way down here to a school. Oh, so we're going to go... All down there, Rosie, yeah. to um, a school there. Yeah. <laughs> to a school. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? What's a school? I don't know. Huh. I think I know where they're all going in such a hurry. Where are they all going? Don't know. I know where they're all going. Where are they all going to? It's God knows, Rosie. Yeah. But we don't. No. I think I can guess which way to go. Rosie? Dog going to the school. Um, uh, maybe they're all going to school. <laughs> Follow fish dog to the school. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a nice cold morning. In you go. Well done. Good morning. Good morning, John. Welcome to school. Thank you very much for letting me visit you. Our pleasure. I'm hoping to write a story about Rosie and Jim. That'll be lovely. Welcome to school. Come in and meet the children. Thank you. Jim, so this must be where they were all going. Rosie? Yeah? This must be the school. The school. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is the cloakroom where we hang our coats and all the children have their own pegs yes. with their own pictures. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to hang your coat there, John. Thank you. And then I'll show you around the school. 
Light come this way. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Thank you very much. What are you going to say with the blue? Are we in purple? Jim, that's all purple and squishy and squinchy. Yeah, purple yeah. and squishy and purple. Painty, painty yeah, and hands. Painty hands. Yeah. Yeah. Painty <laughs> <Yeah>. squishy hands. <laughs> The green duck rosy. <laughs> and I'm doing a yellow sun. The birds are flying in the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through The birds are flying in the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through The flowers are dancing against the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through the flowers are dancing against the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through The sun is shining, the sky is blue And I feel happy, happy all through The sun is shining, the sky is blue And I feel happy, happy all through <laughs> You're all sitting nice and quietly. Now, this is John, who has come to speak to you about Rosie and Jim. Have a, have a nice chat with the children nice anyway. Yeah. All right? So sit quietly and listen to John. Well, you know where I live, don't you? I live on a boat. And who lives on the boat with me? Rosie and Jim. That's right. Rosie and Jim. And if they could come to visit your school with me, what do you think they'd do? You think they'd draw some pictures or paint some pictures? What do you think Rosie and Jim would draw if they came to your school? <coughs> There's no Rosie behind <coughs> Who saw them draw a duck? Yeah. There's nobody there. You don't know. Oh, that's... Can you tell me what else could do? <laughs> one person. Now, let's have one person who can tell me what they can draw. Will you tell me what Rosie and Jim can draw? All quiet, it's his turn now. Uh, sunshine. Do you see the sun shining? Was it a big round sun? Yeah, it's yes. a pink yeah. Oh, the pink Well, no. Rosie and Jim are not really here at all. They're sitting in their seat on my boat. And I'm going to go back now and write a story about them. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye! 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 Rosie! He's quacking his quacky song. <gasps> this gog's going. We've played too long. Come on, Jim. Bye. 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 Come on. Bye. 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 Bye.
the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I feel happy, happy all through. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I feel happy, happy all through. <laughs> Rosie, stop it, I'm doing this song. Oh, okay. Thank you. <coughs> The birds are flying in the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through The birds are flying in the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through <sighs> Rosie? Yes? Stop doing that! Oh, OK. <laughs> <coughs> The flowers are dancing against the sky so blue And I feel happy, happy all through The flowers are dancing The sky is blue And I feel happy, happy all through Rosie! Stop it, you're spoiling it! I'm not noggin <laughs> I'm just making it Nice. Oh, right. <laughs> Shall we sing it again? Yeah! Hang on, hang on! <laughs> hang on, that. Oh, dear. Oh. What are you doing, Rosie? Hang on, there. Oh, oh. there look. Uh, you could have that. All right. Yeah. And uh, hang on. Yeah. I'm going to get the bird. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> One, two, three. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I feel happy, happy all through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quick, fish dog, yeah, come on. Oh, I really enjoyed going to school today. I'll go and write my story now. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One chilly day, Rosie and Jim were going along on the good boat ragdoll when Rosie heard a strange sound. What's that, she said. It's me, said Jim. I'm singing. Oh, said Rosie. It sounds like a tummy ache to me. It's a happy song, said Jim. Listen, said Rosie. What's that? Another happy song, said Jim. It sounds happier than yours, said Rosie. Let's go and see. It's a school, said Jim. Come in, said a lady at the door. Oh, they had a great time in the school. They banged drums, they tinkled triangles, they made sweet sounds on the glockenspiel, and they sang a happy song with the children. Now your song sounds happy, said Rosie. You can join in, said Jim. So she did. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, 
Rosie and Jim and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Brrr, it's a chilly day, so I'll start with that. One. Chilly. Okay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Oh, that's my life jacket on. Now, where shall I look for a story today? Oh, that's dangerous. I wonder who left that there. I could have fallen in the water or banged my head. I'd better put this out of harm's way. And now I'll set off. Thanks, Duck. We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. Well, what can I do with this brick? Perhaps I could write a story with bricks in it. Jim! He said we're going to go all the way down here to find the brick. What? what all down there, Rosie? Right down there. Just to find the brick? Yes. Rosie? Yeah? He doesn't need to. <laughs> I've just found one. <laughs> there, noodle. <laughs> Oh, so we're going to go all down here to a brick. Yeah, a brick. <laughs> oh, I wonder what he's building with all those bricks. Looks interesting. But then he has lots of bricks, and I only have one. Oh, I did have one. But it's gone. <gasps> Jim, <laughs> he's built the... Build... Building. Oh, building! <laughs> Rosie, yeah? he's not building with big, heavy bricks like this one. <laughs> no, he's not. And that's Fizzcog's brick, Noggin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you better take it back. Rosie, yes? he's looking for his big, heavy brick. Oh, dear. I wonder where that brick went to. I don't know. It's very strange. Oh, it's coming back. It must be a magic brick. There are bricks everywhere. My goodness, what would we do without them to keep us warm and dry in our houses? And my book says there's a place not far from here where I can see new bricks being made. Rosie. Yeah? Look at all those bricks. Yeah, lots and lots of bricks, Jim. The bricks. Lots and lots. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? They keep people all dry and warm, Fizzgog said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we are. This must be the place. Right, I'll go and see if I can find out how bricks are made now. Hey, Rosie. Fizzgog's off. Come on.
My goodness, it's muddy here. And there's somebody doing an awful lot of digging. I wonder what this has got to do with making bricks. I think I'll go and see if I can find out. Rosie, yeah? I don't like those great big digger, digger, digger things. Oh, don't worry. If we stay there to Fiskog, we'll be all right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosie, yeah? why are they digging all that muddy stuff up? Don't know. Come on, follow Fiskog. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's all muddy, on. Rosie. Follow <laughs> 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 Fiskog. <laughs> I wonder if you can help me. Um, I'm writing a story about how bricks are made, and I wonder if you could show me. Yes, certainly. What we do here is take the clay out of the ground. Well, that's where I got stuck in it when I was walking. That's right, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And we're moving it to the machine by the tractor, uh -huh. Uh -huh. where we will squash it down, and that's what we make the bricks from. Rosie? What? He said clay? Yeah. Jim, all that squishy, muddy stuff must be clay. Yeah. Clay, Rosie. <laughs> so what happens in here? Well, the clay is brought in here after it's been made soft and smooth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ready for grading to make the clay into bricks. Oh, I see, yeah. Rosie, yeah. that looks like the same stuff. Yeah, Jim, it's called clay because he said so, Noggin. Rosie, huh? what, what's he doing with that clay stuff? Well, um, well, he's cutting it cutting and it. banging it. Bang, bang, banging it. Yeah. <laughs> Thing looks like like a um, yeah like the same shape as a the same shape uh, as a brick, as a brick. <laughs> <laughs> but that brick looks looks all squishy squashy yeah all squirmy and soft <laughs> Rosie yeah maybe he wants to make a squishy squashy soft house <laughs> yeah maybe he wants to make it as squishy as this Ooh, look Jim it's all squishy <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> You naughty nookies! <laughs> <laughs> and do you make all your bricks like that? No, only a very few are made this way. The majority are made by machine. Oh, I see. Could we go and see what happens next? Yeah, sure Thank right. you. This is how we make our bricks. Squish, squash, squeech. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got our own bricks, Rosie. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And what happens next? Well, once the bricks have been dried, we, we put them in the oven to be baked. Oh, I see. Oh, here they come. Ah, yes. Rosie, those look like the bricks. He said he's putting those bricks in a great big oven. Yeah, a very hot oven. Jim, what? my brick is all squidgy and squidgy. Squishy. Squidgy and squashy. Yes, where's yours? My brick's all... Where is my brick, Rosie? Hello? <gasps> Rosie? What? My brick's over there. Oh, oh no. no! Well, can we see what happens next? Yes, certainly. Oh, I've stepped in something. Oh, it's only clay. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Yeah? This one's gone all hard. Yeah, but my brick's all squishy, squashy still. Squishy, squash. <gasps> so, what have we got here, then? These are the finished bricks. Oh. And the reason why they're so hard is because they've been well-baked. Yes, they're really totally different colour. That's and right. Really hard, aren't they? Yes. Very oh, great. Shall we go on now? Yes. Oh, oh no! Jim! Squash two of our squidgy, squidgy bricks now. <laughs> oh, squidgy, squidgy brick. Oh, <laughs> Rosie, yeah? That brick is all squidgy, squidgy. 
Because you didn't bake it in the oven. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> there you are, John. All you need is some cement to stick the bricks together and you can build anything you like. That's it. That's wonderful. Anyway, thank you very much for showing me around. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Rosie, will you help me build the highest, highest wall in the whole wide world? No, I'm busy. Uh, and anyway, Noggin, nobody can build the highest wall in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Jim can. <laughs> My brick wall is building up, building up, building up. My brick wall is building up, getting higher. There. <laughs> now, Rosie, look how high my brick wall is. <laughs> what was that? Where, Noggin? <laughs> oh, Rosie. <laughs> right then. Um. My brick wall is building up, building up, building up. My brick wall is building up. There! Look, Rosie, look how high it is now. Oh, Jim, that is the biggest wall. Yeah, and I built it, Rosie. Yes! <laughs> Jim, Fizzgog! Oh, Fizzgog! Fizzgog! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! Big Rosie, Fizzgog! Oh, come on! Hello, Duck. I wonder what you're going to build with that brick. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One chilly day, Rosie and Jim saw three pigs in a field. Hello, called Jim. I know, said Rosie. You must be the three little pigs. Don't build a straw house, said Jim. The wolf will blow it down, said Rosie. Or one of sticks, said Jim. How do you know, said the pigs. We've read the story, said Jim. Use bricks, said Rosie. But we haven't got any bricks, said the pigs. We'll get you some, said Rosie. Rosie and Jim ran to the brickworks. They borrowed a wheelbarrow and bought some bricks with their pocket money. Then they ran all the way back. You can use our bricks, said Rosie and Jim. They helped the three little pigs to build a house of bricks. And when the wolf came, he huffed and he puffed, but he couldn't blow it down. Told you so, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Rosie and Jim, 
chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag, Jim drawing book. The world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. Brrr, it's a chilly day, so I'll start with that. One. Chilly. Okay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. And today, I'm going to go along the river all the way to Twyford Farm Park. And it's all the way along here. So I'll get the engine started and get on my way. Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. They have all kinds of animals at the farm park. I expect some of them will have babies at this time of year. I'm sure to get an idea for a story if I go there. Jim, he said that we were going to go all the way along here to see a baby. Rosie? Yeah? See a baby? That's what, what he said. All down there to where um, Baby place, Rosie. <laughs> Noggin, that's not a baby. Well, it is my baby, Rosie. Oh, lovely baby. Oh, that baby doesn't sound very happy, does it? <laughs> that baby's unhappy. Oh, she's crying, Jim. Rosie, yeah. why is that baby crying? I don't know. I think she was hungry. I expect that's why she was crying. She looks happier now. Oh, Rosie? Yeah? That baby's happy now. Yes, it's got lots of food in its tummy. <laughs> oh, dear. That sounds like someone who isn't happy. Ah, that's why that baby was crying. It must have been feeling a bit cold. That baby must have been feeling cold. Yeah. Poor baby. But now he's all snuggly warm. Yes, <laughs> in a nice snuggly warm blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. I'll be off now to see if I can find some more babies for my story.
Oh, no. We better keep this baby asleep then. Yeah. Come on. Shh. There. there we go, little one. There. Duck, you will tell us if the baby wakes up, won't you? Oh, lovely duck. <laughs> Excuse me. I wonder if you can tell me where I could see some baby animals here. Well, if you'd like to come and have a look in here, we've got some eggs just about to hatch. Oh, and she's keeping her she's eggs keeping warm. She's keeping her eggs warm. Mm -hmm. See, there they are. There they are, all nice and warm amongst those lovely cuddly feathers. And when they've hatched, they'll look like these ones here. This one's just started to hatch. Can you see his beak? There's a, little, there's a little tooth on the end, a little lump that they use to crack the shell from the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These, this one's still wet, it's just come out in that one. Yeah. And these are nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. I could hold on to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, beautiful. And this is the shell that it came from. Yeah. That baby came out of that egg. That baby chick came out. Out of the egg, Rosie. Yeah. <gasps> oh. These are the larger chicks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good job, there, didn't you know, Come on. Would you like to see some more babies? I would. Yeah. I can show you some goslings if you like. Oh, lovely. This way. Yeah, you'll be all right. I'm going to feed you. <gasps> Yummy food. <laughs> what have we got here? Well, these are goslings, they're baby geese. Oh, yeah. And I think they're probably quite hungry, so I'll give them some food. Mm, they look hungry. Get them nice and fat. Jim, have we got any food for this gosling? I'm just going to feed the lamb with the bottle. Would you oh, like to yeah. see? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> little one is hungry too. Two babies? Yeah. Well, he's having a good drink anyway. That's right. Normally the sheep would feed the lamb. Yes, yeah, so this is instead of the sheep doing That's it. That's right. The mother didn't have enough milk. Uh, so we have yeah. to do it instead. Oh, I see. There's the lamb having a good drink from its mother. This is where we keep our rabbits. Oh, yeah. Baby rabbits are different to baby birds. They need to take milk from the mothers as soon as they're born. Uh -huh, yeah, Got some yeah. babies in here. Would you like to oh, see? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. Hello. Hello. One rabbit. And another one. Two rabbits. Oops. Mm, Three baby rabbits. <laughs> oh. Aren't they lovely? Shall I show you the puppies? Oh, thank you. Don't you want any food? Jim! Jim! Shh, shh. There you go, little one. Oh, there. Rosie. There. A baby rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Here's some baby dogs. They're Ooh, called puppies. Puppies. Oh, well. I think they're hungry. It's top, probably time for them to be fed. I think so, yeah. Do you want any? Uh, 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 Rosie? Poor puppy. Don't worry, I'll look after you. One, two, three babies. Oh. Jim! Jim, look! Oh, oh. Rosie! <laughs> Yeah, we've got another puppy. That's one, two, three, four babies now, Rosie. Yeah. Oh, all right, then I'll take them home again. Come on, puppy. Well, thank you very much for a most interesting visit. Oh, thank you for coming. I think it's time for me to go and eat something. <laughs> yeah, <there. laughs> me too. Bye-bye. Yeah.
no, no, another hungry yes. baby. Yes, another baby. Come on, Jim. baby was unhappy because it was hungry. Oh, baby's happy now. Would you like to hold him? Yeah. There we go, baby. Shh, 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 shh. There. Nice baby. Yeah. Rosie. Yeah. Now baby's all cuddly and nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely baby. <laughs> Babies come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? Most of them need their mothers to feed them, until they're big enough to feed themselves. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim, and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One chilly day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll when they saw a sleepy little baby bat. Hello, said Jim. Do you know you're upside down? I'm not, said the baby bat. It's you that's upside down. Are we, said Jim. And all the world, said Rosie. Yes, and you look very funny. Noggin, said Rosie. I'm hungry, said the baby bat. Would you like some yoghurt, said Rosie. Is it the right way up? Rosie turned her yoghurt upside down. It all spilled on the ground. Messy creature, said the baby bat. Oh dear, I'm so hungry. Rosie found a sandwich in her bag and held it upside down. Bats don't eat sandwiches. What can we do, said Jim. Here comes Mum, said the baby bat. She knows. The bat's mother gave it a good drink of bat's milk as it hung in its tree. That's better, said the baby bat. Time to waken up now. Not for us, said Rosie. It's our bedtime, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, take it along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, 
chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Wah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life, and I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Get my life jacket on. I'm going along this canal today into Birmingham. So I'll get on my way. Oh, well, my key's gone. Thanks, Dak! <laughs> Jim! What? We're not moving! <gasps> What's fish gog? Don't know. Come what on. What can I have done with my keys? I don't know where they are. Oh, dear me. Look at them there. Oh, my hat. Rosie. Yeah? Look. Oh. What? Fishgog's lovely old hat. What? It's running away. Oh, no. But Fishgog always wears a hat. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Looks like the end of my hat. Poor old Fizzgog. Oh, no. Never mind, though. I needed a new one. Rosie? Yeah? We could, we could find Fizzgog a new hat. Yeah, we could even make Fizzgog a new hat. Make Fizzgog a brand new hat. Yes, it is. A hat, a new hat, a new hat. Now then, what have I done with that key? Oh! There it is, under the book. That's handy. I can get on to Birmingham now. I think I'll go and see if I can get a new hat. His head warm as warm as a bat. La 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 la, stick it and shape it and give it to me and make a nice hat for this dog you'll see. You'll <laughs> see. <laughs> that hat's too big for her, but at least she's got a hat. Tweet, tweet, 
Trim it and shape it and give it to me And make a nice hat for this dog you'll see <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make a really big hat Yeah, I'm, I'm making a little hat <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at all those brownies in their hats. It's not fair. I wish I had mine. <laughs> Jim, we've all finished now. Yeah, all finished. Yeah. Yeah. Two new hats for Fizzgog. Yes. Yeah. And Jim, I think we should take these hats for Fizzgog. Yeah! Rosie, yeah? these hats will keep his head warm, won't <laughs> they? Keeping my head warm. Well, here I am in the middle of Birmingham. So now I can go and buy a new hat. <laughs> Rosie? He won't have to look very much, will he? <laughs> no, and he won't just find one hat, will he? No, Rosie, yeah. he'll find one, two new hats. <laughs> <laughs> two hats, yeah, we <laughs> made two hats. <laughs> Rosie, he, 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 he didn't even see them. Oh, dear. Never mind, Jim. Come on, let's try again. Yeah, let's try putting them on his head. <gasps> Jim, this cock's coming. Come on. Good morning, officer. Good morning. Um, I wonder if you can help me, please. I'm looking for somewhere to buy a hat. I don't know my way around, really. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, if you go straight down there, yes. take the first on your left, go down there about 100 yards, um, you'll come to another turning on your right by a big high-rise block of flats. Um, if you go down there a little way, you'll come straight to the rag market. You should find lots of hats there, sir. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Fizzgog? Jim! Rosie, here comes Fizzgog. <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me, is this the right way to the rug market, please? Oh, yes. Um, if you just follow the path round, then you'll soon see it. Oh, lovely. Thank you. OK. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Strange. 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 Rosie, that wasn't Fizzgog. Oops. <laughs> well, this must be the rag market. I'll have a look for a hat here. Where's Fizzgog, Rosie? Don't know. <gasps> there he is, Rosie. There's Fizzgog. Yes, now we can put our hats on him. Yeah. Two new hats for Fishgong! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> there are lots of lovely hats here. I wonder if they've got one to suit me. I'll have a look. There! Two new hats for Fishgong! Yeah. <laughs> ah, crash helmet. I'd love to try that. Now, how's that for a hat? Well, I used to ride a motorbike years ago, but I drive a boat now, so I don't need a crash helmet. <laughs> he looks like... he looks like a spacey, spacey man. Well, what about a postman's hat? Hmm. Well, I could get up early in the morning and deliver the letters before I set out on the rag doll. It's a bit small for me, though. <laughs> he thinks he's Postman Pat! <laughs> postman Pat! <laughs> postman Pat! <laughs> You're right, sir. Yes, thank you. I'm just looking for a hat, really, to fit me. Anything in particular? Well, I live on a boat, you see, and I've lost my hat. I had a, a nice hat that fitted me, and uh, really, I'd like to see what, what kind of hat you've got. What about something like this? Oh, my goodness me. This is a big one, isn't it? Well, 
It's a bit floppy. I think I might crash my boat if I wore that one. Oh, Jim, it's too big. Jim! What? What? Too big! Oh, no! <laughs> What, something like this? Ooh, that's a little one, isn't it? It's rather funny. Well, that looks rather funny. I think people <laughs> might laugh at me in that one. Oh, Rosie! It's too small! Oh, Jim, I made it too small! Too small! How about a casual, an oh, everyday wear? Rather like that one, yes. Hmm. That's not a fizzgog hat, is it? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's smart. Ooh. That's not a fizzgog hat either! No, <laughs> do you think it suits me? It doesn't look quite right. No, not quite Maybe me. not. Not quite me. What about that one over there? That, this Panama yeah, hair? That looks like my old hat that I lost. Do you want to try this one yes, on? Yes, I'd like to try that. <gasps> Jim! That is a fizzgog hat! It looks right for a boat somehow, doesn't it? It's quite like the one I lost. And it's just the right size! <laughs> Fizzgog's got a new hat! Yeah! Fizzgog's <laughs> got a new hat! There we are. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Lovely. Thanks okay. very much. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, Rosie. Poor old duck hasn't got a hat yet. Yeah, but Jim, this hat is just the right size. Oh, yeah. And Rosie. Yeah. This hat is just the right size. Four. Ragdo! Ragdo! <laughs> there. Hat for Ragdo. <laughs> a hat on a duck? I've never seen that before. But it's a good fit. And a hat on the boat as well. Now we all have hats. <laughs> That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day... Rosie and Jim went shopping in the market. They came to a stall that was full of hats, all kinds of hats. I'd like a hat, said Rosie. Me too, said Jim. They tried a few. Try that one, said Rosie. Jim put a big black hat on his head. Whizzo, fizzo, it was a magic hat. Help, cried Jim. He had grown taller than three houses. Take it off, shouted Rosie. He did. That's better, said Jim. He was his proper size again. Your turn, said Jim. Try this one. Rosie put a big flowery hat on her head. Whizzo, fizzo, it was a magic hat. Rosie grew and grew, as fat as ten pancakes. Take it off, cried Jim. She did. That's better, said Rosie. She was her proper shape again. I don't think it suited you, said Jim. I don't think rag dolls wear hats, said Rosie. And they went home to tea. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>